so hello everyone uh, today we discuss a new topic that is a ionic product of water so in the name itself it is a given ionic product so ionic product means simply the product of ions present in the water is called a ionic product of water so we know that uh, water is also a weak electrolyte weak electrolyte means uh, its dissociation is uh, generally very less percentage okay so if you write uh, its uh, dissociation so main important point here is uh, water is a weak electrolyte is a weak electrolyte so here we can write the dissociation of water H2O2 gives H plus and OH minus. So we can write the equilibrium constant for this is the H plus products concentration by water concentration that is reactance. So here important uh, the case equilibrium constant. We know that its degree of dissociation is less as it is a weak electrolyte. So K value will be less and uh, the H2, the concentration of the concentration of H2 is taken as constant. This H2 concentration taken as a constant because there is very less percentage dissociated. That's why H2 concentration taken as a constant. So the equilibrium constant into H2 concentration. So this combinedly taken as the product of the product of equilibrium concentration sorry the product of equilibrium constant and the H2O concentration so is combinedly taken as KW water dissociation constant or ionic product of water so KW is equal to now we can write H plus and OH minus okay so this is known as this is known as the formula for ionic product of water so why we are writing k w means the ionic product of water so h2o concentration is taken as a constant cavity simply it is a constant constant we given a new constant that is kw so this is called ionic product of water so it can be written as it can be written as in other terms KW equal to H3O plus and OH minus. So both are both formulas represents the ionic product of water. So why you are writing separately H3O plus means uh, so here H plus means uh, H plus is nothing but uh, hydrogen ion. This is nothing but uh, the concentration of H plus ion means uh, always you have to remember there is a hydrogen ion so OH minus OH minus is concentration of hydroxyl ion concentration of hydroxyl ions okay next what about H3O plus here H3O plus also indicates uh, the positive ions of water there is a uh, they known as concentration of hydronium concentration of hydronium ions so why you are writing this uh, h3o plus again means uh, in the in the place of h plus because the h plus h plus is very active h plus is very active so whatever the h plus are formed in the water it again combined with the uh, h2o other h2o molecules that h plus combined with other h2o molecules as it is a very active it is in the form of H3O plus means normally H plus is a generally exists in the form of H3O plus by combining with the another H2O molecule okay that's why it can be written as a H3O plus or nothing but H plus okay now we write the definition <coughs> So 
okay we can write the definition that uh, the product of okay the product of a uh, concentration of h plus and the concentration of h OH minus is called ionic product is called ionic product of water okay so here generally it is depends on constant so it depends on a temperature at a temperature it is constant but it is not always constant at a particular temperature it is constant we know that uh, the dissociation process also depends on the temperature. As the temperature increases, uh, the degree of dissociation also increases. Means extent of ionization increases. So number of ions released also increases. So automatically the concentration of products increases. Kw also increases. Means it depends on temperature. But uh, for problem generally we do uh, in the problems calculation, we take the Kw as at 25 degrees Celsius. So it depends on temperature. That's why we have mentioned the value at a particular temperature. So it's for 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is always taken as 1.0 into 10 power minus 14 moles square per liter square. Okay, 10 power minus 14 moles square per liter square so here as the temperature increases right, it is the important point as temperature increases the concentrations of products increases means h plus oh minus concentration increases so kw also increases so As temperature increases, Kw also increases. Okay, with the help of this, we can write. Uh, so this k w is equal to 1.0 into 10 power minus 14. Here we can write what is the k w value h plus the definite into definition h plus into o h minus equal to 1.0 into 10 power minus 14 moles square per liter square. It's okay. Next here uh, it's a very important that the pure water is a neutral. Pure water is neutral. So all we know the main words, what are the physical properties of water? It is a colorless, odorless, tasteless and what is the nature means? It is a neutral, means it does not turn the blue litmus into red, red litmus into blue color. That is treated as a pure water. If it uh, changes the colors, blue litmus or red litmus, it is uh, having some uh, other ions means 100% pure water is a neutral so when it becomes neutral if it is having H plus ion concentration exactly equal to the OH minus ion concentration so this positive concentration negative concentration already we know H plus is responsible for H plus is responsible for acidic nature OH minus is responsible for basic nature why water is uh, pure water is neutral means so we can guess or we can say uh, directly that uh, the concentration of H plus is exactly equal to the OH minus ion concentration therefore water is neutral so here we can say as pure water as pure water is neutral pure water is neutral in class we can write when it is possible the H plus concentration is equal to OH minus so let's take it as equation 1. If the H plus concentration is OH minus, then only water is uh, pure water is neutral. So pure water neutral. So in the equation 1, 
uh, you can write it in the place of y h minus h plus, or we can write in the place of h plus y h minus. First, I am writing the uh, h plus in the place of y h minus because both are equal. So in equation one, we substitute uh, h plus into h plus. One point zero into four minus uh, fourteen mole square liter square. So what is uh, it becomes h plus square. H plus y square equals one point zero into ten to four minus fourteen mole square liter square. Then make it h plus h plus equal becomes root. Mole square liter square mole square per liter square. Then finally it becomes h plus equal how much? One point zero into ten to four minus seven. The uh, root root and squares cancel. Here we get uh, moles per liter. So this is also important uh, value to remember. Means in water, what is the H plus ion concentration? One point zero into ten to four minus seven moles square per sorry moles per liter. If you take Kw, that is moles square per liter square. If you take the only H plus ion concentration, that is one point zero into ten to four minus seven. Moles per liter. So obviously, we know that in pure water, H plus equal to OH minus. So again, so therefore we can write uh, the OH minus concentration in water. So we can write OH minus is also equal to 1.0 into 4 minus 7 moles per liter. As the pure water neutral, H plus concentration equal to OH minus. So in the derivation, we got uh, H plus equal to 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. So obviously, OH minus concentration is also 1.0 into 1.0 into 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. Okay, so this is about uh, ionic product of water. Just simple thing is that uh, uh, as the temperature increases, its value also increases. Okay, so here one more important thing. Uh, with the help of uh, this H plus and OH minus concentration, now we are able to say as we can nature of uh, as we can basic nature of uh, compounds because it is also applicable to aqua solutions of different substances. If H plus equal to OH minus, we can say it is neutral. If any substance uh, having H plus equal to OH minus. So based on this, uh, aqua solutions are classified into three types. Okay. solutions that is totally based on H plus and OH minus concentration. So for example if H plus concentration is exactly equal to OH minus concentration means uh, so for this we can write uh, H plus is exactly equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 moles per liter then the solutions are treated as neutral in nature so in the place of h plus we can write oh minus but we have to take a, a single criteria to explain the concept we have to take h plus or oh minus generally we discuss the all things in terms of h plus okay so if you take uh, another case if H plus is, if H plus concentration is uh, greater than OH minus, 
If h plus concentration is greater than OH minus means uh, h plus concentration is in the neutral solution h plus is 10 power minus 7. If it is greater than 10 power minus 7 moles per liter, then it will be treated as acidic. So H plus concentration is uh, greater than 10 power 7 means automatically OH minus concentration is less than 10 power minus 7. Okay, so next another case. If H plus concentration is uh, less than OH minus, H plus is less than OH minus means uh, here OH minus concentration is greater than 10 power 7. So we are discussing total things in terms of H plus. Therefore, I am writing H plus, if H plus is less than 10 power minus 7. If H plus is uh, less than 10 power minus 7 moles per liter. So it will be treated as a basic in nature. Okay. Next, uh, we see one more application of a. Uh, ionic product of water so that is uh, for conjugate acid base phase <coughs> here see for a conjugate acid base phase with the help of this uh, we can uh, Right to think that is relation between uh, relation between K and KB. So we know that uh, what is K, what is KB. So K is a uh, acid dissociation constant. KB is base dissociation constant. So what is uh, it is mainly related to the strength of acids and strength of bases. We know the strength is directly proportional to Ka and the strength of base is directly proportional to Kb. Means uh, this Kb values, Ka values increases, acidic nature also, acidic strength also increases. As Kb value increases, basic nature also increases. So here we are discussing the Ka, Kb values of uh, acids and base. Then what are the acids and bases and they, it is a for a conjugate acid base pair. So, see, so we apply it for conjugate acid base pair. Okay, uh, for example, we are taking a uh, and with the help of an example, we will explain it. We have got NH3 and NH4 plus ammonium ion and NH3. What is the relation between these two? So NH4 plus ready to uh, lose one H plus and become NH3. NH3 ready to accept the H plus and become the NH3 ready to accept the H plus and become NH4 plus. Then what is the difference in these two? In these two the difference is H plus. So the species, the couple of species. We know that the, com the couple of chemical species differ by one proton are known as conjugate acid base pairs. Okay. So now we observe the, this conjugate acid base pair. Now we observe their uh, aqua solutions. For example, in if NH4 plus with H2. Here it forms an equilibrium H3O plus plus and H3. So what you write the K value. So it works as generally acid. As it donates the H plus so it will be treated as a, an acid. So for that's why you are writing it is the acid dissociation constant. Okay. H3O plus NS3 sorry NS3 concentration by NH4 plus concentration okay 
same uh, if you do the for the reverse reaction we are not taking h2 because it is taken as a, a constant uh, unit value then what about uh, ammonia so ammonia also if dissolves in water ammonia also if dissolves in water so it also forms a uh, second H4 plus plus OH minus so here NH3 becomes NH4 plus NH3 accepted and H plus so NH3 accepting H plus means here NH3 acts as a base because we are writing a dissociation constant of base so product concentration so react by reacting concentration as H2 concentration is taken as unit as one unit so we don't write that term so now you know Ka into Kv so it is equation 1 equation 2 so on the multiplication of uh, of K into Kb if you do the K into Kb we are doing uh, with the help of equation 1 and 2 here we can write uh, so what was the equation 1 the H3O plus concentration So what's the equation 2? So now do it. Uh, so the NH3 NH3 cancel. This will be cancelled. So now it becomes a uh, H3O plus H3O plus into OH minus. So we know that the product of H3O plus hydronium ion concentration and OH minus and concentration that is equal to KW so K into KB is equal to what are the remaining terms after the cancellation H3O plus and OH minus we know that according to the definition so the K into KB is equal to now we write the, the formula that is a K into KB is equal to KW okay when for any reaction so for any conjugate acid base pair the its acid dissociation constant in it with the the base dissociation constant the product is always equal to kw at that particular temperature just remember kw is always constant at a particular temperature only as temperature increases its value increases so there is no need to buy the uh, kw values at a different different temperatures just you have to remember the case that as temperature increases, Kw increases. But for doing problems, we are taking a 1.0 into 10 to the power minus 14 mole square per liter square at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay.